Well, I think the first thing is to decide what you want to do with that horse. You know, what type of recreational sport or competition, if there's something involved like that. And that would probably uh, be enlisting somebody to give you advice, a possible trainer in a local area. I know when I started, I started with formal riding lessons when I was young. So I had people I could go to that were, you know, experts in their field that could say, here's the kind of horse you need, or here's what you want to do, or here's how you want to compete. The purchase of a horse is, is a you know something you need to plan for. Uh, it's it's not something that you should go into you know idly. It's not like like getting a pet, you know, to where you can you know they can be self sustaining. It's it's not a uh, it's not an, a non occupation or non participant situation where you just kick them out and go visit them when it's convenient. And don't you think that's a, a lifestyle if you if you bring on that responsibility of having a horse on your property? Uh, it's a lifestyle change because it's something that has to be tended to on a daily basis. Well, I've always reckoned or, or, or connected horses like with raising children. You know, you, you basically take care of them every day, but unfortunately they don't ever grow up and leave. If you're going to have a horse around, you're going to take care of it for its entire life. So it just takes a, a little bit of research to see what you want to do and how you want to do it. Mm-hmm.